Welcome to the next section of your Sixth Sense Trial Guide. In this section, we'll be going over organizing your assets by sites. Moving over to the left-hand side of your screen, you can see that we have a few ways that we can organize, and at the top, you'll see sites. Right now, we're looking at the Utah Bountiful site. Underneath that, you can see that there's multiple subsites. Each of those subsites represents an IP range. If you have new devices that get added to the product suite, they're automatically going to fall into the subsite that matches their IP range. To change an IP range, open the site config and then specify a starting and ending IP range. As you build your IP ranges for your sites, be aware that we limit the number of addressable IPs to 50,000 per IP range. So if you need more than 50,000 addressable IPs, make more than one IP range for each of those sites. If you'd like to create a new site, head over to the main site heading, right-click on it, and then select New Sites. From here, we'll give our new site a useful name, and then we'll provide a start IP and an end IP range for this new location. Once you have configured the site the way you want it, hit the Save button, and you'll return to the Main Devices page. Once there, you can see that we now have a new site location. As you build out new sites, be aware of two important functions. First, every site that you create must have a unique name. This will be important if you would like to create static site locks, a process whereby endpoints automatically become assigned to a particular site when they're provisioned. You'll see on your screen an example of the site lock flag when deployed with the MSI installation. You're also welcome to provision endpoints manually with site locking. Just open the device from within its site, go over to the device config, and then under the device config options, select the lock to site button. Once that's configured, this device will now be set to always appear in this site location, regardless of what its IP address might be. Besides unique naming and site locking, the other thing to keep in mind is that sites will be organized either numerically or alphabetically. This is going to make it simple to keep track of your assets, and it's also going to make it important that you keep a standardized structure for asset management through sites, queries, groups, and within Active Directories. Here, you can see that played out. This is the Bountiful Office, which has a development, production, test, and even user's own subsite. If you go over to one of the other primary site locations, like the Idaho Boise location, you would see that same structure played out. There is a distinct primary name, and then subnames represented under the site locations. That was an overview of site organization. On the next video, We'll go over in detail organizing your assets by queries.